Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Women Empowerment Series today with me, Noor Farisha Abdushakur. And today we are delighted and honored to have a very special guest with us. It's Nurianti Jali. Hi. Assalamualaikum. How are you? Waalaikumsalam. I'm good. Yeah, how are you? How's how's things going in the States? Uh, everything is good here. Uh, we just had a winter storm. <laughs> and, uh, now I'm like, you know, uh, waiting for uh, the new semester to begin. So I'm one week uh, more uh, for my winter break. And then I'm just going to go back to work straight uh, until May. So that's my life right now. <laughs> awesome. What time is it there in uh, Dakota? Uh, right now it's, uh, it's 8.25 a.m. Uh, in the morning. So it's 10.25 in Malaysia. Awesome, awesome. So on behalf of Women Empowerment Series, I would like to thank you for being here today uh, with me in my Women Empowerment Podcast. So can you share mm -hmm. with us more about yourself? Okay, sure. Thank you, Farisha, for having me. Uh, my name is uh, Nuriyan Tijali. I am an uh, assistant professor of communication studies uh, at Northern State University of South Dakota. I'm Miri native. I'm from Sarawak from Malaysia, but I did my PhD here uh, in the United States, in Ohio, and then after that, I went back to Malaysia and uh, for two years to teach in Malaysia, and then I was, uh, you know, I found another opportunity in the U.S., and here I am in the U.S., and I do, uh, what I do here in the U.S., I teach, of course, and I do a lot of research. I work with uh, various organizations uh, due to my uh, research, such as uh, UNESCO, United Nations, uh, uh, Brookings Institutions, uh, Double Think Club. So the kind of research that I do focus more on social science, uh, focus more on disinformation, misinformation, political propaganda, and uh, public policy. So, uh, you know, uh, other than teaching students in class, uh, through this research, I was able to connect with a lot of different people here in the U.S. And my latest uh, updates, I did have like two uh, new papers published. One is research paper, one is a public policy paper by uh, Brookings Institutions. And I will have a book out, uh, hopefully uh, by the first half of 2023. So that's me uh Nurianti. <laughs> awesome okay and yeah. for the next question what is the most challenging moment in your career how do you bounce back how do you get back up okay all right uh challenging moment I uh to be honest with you I do not have that big big moment in terms of like challenge just yet right but sure uh, I did have like a, a few difficulties where uh you know when I was working such as like maybe uh say uh work environment say for example that might not have the same uh vibe or perhaps approach like uh I do say, for example, the other time when I was working in Malaysia, I had like uh, some difficulties in a way that uh, uh, I I work with with certain uh, departments due to the fact that it's a highly, uh, what we call it, a uh, different way we approach things. I think it's cultural things as well. Like for myself, I like to do things fast, sharp done well and then like you know just move on there's uh uh we want to do it fast we want to do it efficiently but some people might not do it the same way they're doing it uh their way so I found it that's the the difficult part to my to my career I guess but it's not as bad <laughs> as we have that conversation hey how how can we uh find that middle ground like you know uh you like to do it this way I like to do it this way so how can we find the middle ground to make sure that hey you're happy and I'm happy <laughs> So, so that's why I feel like that's the difficult part to uh, my working career is to find that middle ground and to find that uh, uh, similarity, commonality between people that work differently than you. So which it doesn't mean that you're right. It doesn't mean that they're right. It doesn't mean that they're wrong. It doesn't mean that we're wrong. It's just that we're different. So I feel like uh, throughout careers, I've worked in uh, various uh, uh, organizations. And I think that's one of the key things that often make things a little bit hard, but it doesn't mean that it cannot be solved. So like, uh, so that's, uh, that's for me. So that's uh, the challenge that I have so far. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I have to agree with you because everybody uh -huh. have different skill set and it's great right. that if we can complement each other's skills. Right. Yeah. Right. Because everybody have 
their strengths and weaknesses, right? So right. that is how we can complement each other by leveraging on each other's skills. And right. you mentioned also about culture, working culture. Right. So it's really right. important for organization, whether it's corporate, government, or institution, mm -hmm. to have a good working environment and positive culture. Right. Yeah. So yeah. So like like I told you, so that was uh the challenge, but I tried to kind of like understand. So why is this happening? Is it like just the way things were done for decades for the organization that you know I'm the new component to the organization that have like different way of doing things that kind of like shake things a little bit. <laughs> then you know, but then again, you know, like I said, the, the approach is like to find that middle ground. Okay, so let's make this work, otherwise we will not be able to to kind of like get things done. Yeah. Okay. And now for the next question, what mm -hmm. does woman empowerment means to you? Like uh, I am uh, proud to say that I am a feminist in a way that uh, not the the kind of feminist, the extreme feminist that you see on TV that, you know, that, that uh, with uh, what we call it, all this uh, crazy stunts that you see on the media. But I am proud to say that I'm a feminist. I believe that women should be empowered in a way that uh, woman empower means to me is that when another woman will be able to kind of like share uh, resources with another woman and then also uh, have that open arms to help other women through whatever, through giving uh, advice, to share tips, to open opportunity, and to be able to lift other women up, right? So like, you know, uh, and also advocate for uh, women's right, like, and address and talk about uh, challenges that um, women experience because we are not living in a, uh, what we call it, an ideal world. Uh, if you think about it, if you look at uh, various countries, uh, you know, regardless in Western setting or perhaps uh, the Asian setting, it's uh, still, you know, highly patriarchy in a way that is male dominated society so there's a, a few challenges that women have so how can we how can we empower women in this kind of setting is to make sure that as a woman myself right I want to make sure that I'm well prepped in terms of education in terms of skill in terms of like you know because I have that privilege not every woman have that privilege Right, because I have that privilege, so I, I have that opportunity to learn and pursue uh, higher education. So what I can do to people that perhaps do not have that opportunity to share it, to share my skills, to share what I know, perhaps for free. A lot of time I do this uh, uh, with, you know, my ex students, I open like, you know, it's an official mentorship. Hey, doctor, uh, can you share, uh, you know, how can I do my resume? Uh, it's just my resume is good. Uh, what do you think about like, you know, uh, this research topic that I do, do you think it's good? So I do this uh, with the idea that, hey, not only as a woman, as a human being, <laughs> we try to kind of like empower other people that perhaps do not have that same privilege as we do. So privileged women should help another uh, woman to become better. So that's human empowerment for me because we live in a society that's a little bit skewed like this. So some of us manage to make it to higher level that we need to kind of like throw that rope to help another person to go up. So that's how I view women empowerment. Yeah, and I absolutely agree with you uh, because we have to empower and support each other. So it's all about supporting each other and empowering each other. Right. right. Okay, and now for the next question. Okay, who is the most inspiring woman that you admire in Malaysia and also internationally? So I have okay all right I have a few people that I looked up to 
like you know um if you uh if in malaysian setting uh i feel like uh, there are a lot of people to be to be looked up to but if i have to uh narrow it down to a few people uh maybe one person in mind i really wanted to highlight is uh professor madia dr one uh Wardato amani if you know her she's the first woman in space malaysian woman that you know work uh, with nasa and uh the reason why i respect her not only because of that but the reason that she decided to leave NASA. Hey, you know what? I feel that uh, I do not want to work uh, with NASA due to the fact that there are a lot of people solving problems here in the United States. I want to go back home to solve real problems where my people are located at. So that's why I have a huge respect for uh, Professor Dr. Wan uh, due to the fact that that's the, uh, you know, her achievements, her expertise, and her reason to go back home to Malaysia. And other than that, of course, we have a lot of, uh, uh, you know, wonderful people to, to look up to, to uh, Dato Siti uh, Rasma, and then also, of course, my own mother, <laughs> right? Uh, you know, a lot of people that I looked up to, strong women, but uh, as in academia, uh, as a person in academia, uh, as a professor, uh, I also look at a lot uh, of different educators uh, in Malaysia that has achieved so, so much. So, yeah. So that's for Malaysia. If I if you wanna go <laughs> and look at other um, international individuals that I like, I have a few people as well. And one person always come in mind when people ask me, "Hey, who do you look uh, looked up to when it comes to like women rights and whatnot?" I have to say Toni Morrison. So she's an American author, uh, colored American author. Um, Black American author, African American author, and she is amazing, right? Uh, I loved her because she highlighted uh, a lot of uh, what we call it struggles experienced by Black American community, especially women, right? And she delivered uh, this uh struggles through her writings so her name is uh tony morrison and of course there are others uh if you read books uh like educated uh if you uh you know uh the writer of that book her name is Tara. Tara is something but i like her a lot if you, you can read that book you can learn about her struggle getting educated in a very repressive uh setting as a woman so yeah so that's international yep Okay, so we have come to the final question. The last question. Yeah. What is your advice to women out there? I mean, like, uh, if uh, I, I'm not uh, uh, the one that, you know, to give advice, advice to tell people what's right and wrong. But if I have to give one, I feel like every woman uh, should recognize your abilities right you should recognize your abilities and try proactively find opportunities and connect with the right people because uh the people that you keep close is a reflection i know it's a little bit cliche the people that you keep close uh you know in your diameter like in your radius uh the reflection of you in a way that hey whether or not that I can learn from this somebody or whether or not that uh if I can like you know improve my my what we call it my my uh, skills when I engage with this somebody so my advice to women out there get connected with the right people try to find opportunities right if you are not in that position right uh if you realize there are people that are not in that position to connect might not like I said when perhaps not as privileged as you right reach out to people provide them with support right if you see somebody's doing well clap for them if you see somebody not doing too too well help them right so like you know Women, we would have to be more active. We have to be more uh, proactive. If you feel that, hey, I feel I'm lacking in terms of like the way I speak, or perhaps, hey, I am not good at writing, but I really want to uh, improve my writing, go for it. Do not stop yourself from trying new things, right? A lot of resources now in the era of internet. So there's a lot of things free online. So it's just you, you decide what kind of uh, what kind of uh, activity that you want to fill in. 
like, you know, uh, during your free time? Would you want to just go and watch Netflix or would you want to go and better yourself? If you want to better yourself, there are a lot of people trying, you know, offering like free help for you on the net. And if you are that skilled somebody like you, Farisha, like many other women out there that perhaps watching this, reach out to people that perhaps need help, right? Remember, in your life, uh, it's not about uh, I have this code that I that I really like uh, that I keep in my head like uh, for a long, long time. It is that, uh, you know, when you living your life, right, it's not about the things that you do uh, for yourself mm -hmm. uh, that people remember you by. It's the thing that you do for society. It's the thing that you do uh, for others that will remain in the world as you pass and will remain immortal. It's like, you know, money is money. You work and work. But then again, there's part of you, you're human. You need to do something for somebody else. You take from the world, you have to give to the world. So this is my philosophy in life. Like, you know, that's why you can see that I offer, sometimes I offer like free class. This year, I'm going to offer like free uh, one monthly class for uh, anybody who are interested to learn about things, random stuff, I talk about like, you know, improving uh, your marketability uh, in Malaysian markets, say for example, perhaps you, uh, how can you improve uh, your ability to do research, to write better, right? So I'm gonna do this, uh, hopefully, uh, this will materialize in 2003, 2023, every uh, Saturday, third Saturday via Zoom for one hour like this, just talking like, you know, it's Santai Santai with Dr. Nuriandi. So that's what I call it. Yeah. So that's, you know, give more to the world, right? Because you are privileged. So if you're not, look for opportunities and do not stop yourself just because you feel that you cannot do it, right? You are the person that is responsible with your life. So, yeah. So that's my advice, I guess. I really love that because, yeah. uh, you know, it's all about purpose. You have to live life with a purpose. And we have right. to remember that like in life, it's not just like, you know, uh, eat, sleep, and then get out of bed, go to work, right. and then right. sleep, and then get up to work again. We need something that is larger than life. Like what is our true purpose being on this right. earth? And I really right. like it when you say that, you know, you want like you give back. And you offer free classes to students and and it's all about giving back and the universe it's like karma yeah. right what you give yeah. you get back and what yeah. you give you get back tenfold so i believe in that and you know it's all about like having a true purpose like what you want to do in life and mm -hmm. also being you know beneficial to others like being able mm -hmm. to help others uh, as mm -hmm. well and being able to lift each other up so I think right. like having that true purpose in life is really important. Yeah. Okay, so we have come to the end of the uh, interview for Women Empowerment Series. So before uh -huh. we end the show, uh, can you share with us a bit of your experience working in the States? Working in the States is interesting, <laughs> right? Uh, I've been here since 2013. So I only uh, came back uh, to Malaysia for about two years before I, you know, decided to migrate like uh, 100% here in the U.S. So the challenge here, of course, when it comes to systemic, like, you know, uh, racism stuff and because you're different, you look a little bit uh you look a little bit, <laughs> you look different. So people perhaps treat you differently and then like give you different opportunities. So that's the challenge. But then again, if you can work yourself, uh, you know, can find that loopholes, right? Be proactive in that uh, position. Like say for myself, hey, uh, I might experience some stuff here, but then again, that will not stop me because I, I would have to be creative in finding ways to make sure that I will not be pushed down in that setting. So like, you know, proactively find solutions. I'm not saying this is uh, gonna, I'm not saying this gonna work 100% all the time, but the the key uh, idea is to, to actively 
try to challenge the system. So so that's for me. Uh, in the U.S., uh, of course, different set of students, different different set of like uh, the way people work here in the U.S. is straightforward. You go to work, you achieve your stuff well, and then you go home. <laughs> so there's a, like, you know, I love this setting a lot. And uh, it's it has been uh, fun. Of course, there are challenges, but uh, there's none that I could not overcome uh so far so it has been a good experience and it has been a blessing like uh, for me yeah amazing and thank you so much for sharing your experience yeah. with us and thank you for mm -hmm. being in women empowerment series and for yeah. those of you who would like to connect uh, with Nurianti Jali you can connect with her on LinkedIn yeah, mm -hmm. so you can connect with her on LinkedIn and and message her if you have any question, if you're interested yes. to further your studies in the States and mm -hmm. if you want to ask her more question about, you know, working in, in the States or furthering your studies or your master's or your PhD in the States, feel free to uh, ask question and connect with Nurianti. Yeah, I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, <laughs> where else? Mastodon, post me. So you just, you know, Google my name, Nurianti, and then uh, that'll be uh, a whole lot of different socials that you can connect with me, okay? Awesome. Thank you so much, Nurianti. Thank you for being in Women Empowerment Series. Till then, sure. take care. Bye. Goodbye.